So, I wanted to tell you guys a story. A story time, if you will. But don't worry, this video isn't like every other story time on this platform, where it's fully animated and it's quote-unquote funny and absolutely relatable. I screamed, pull it out, pull it out! But my stupid teacher still thought I was acting. Well, until he saw the head of my baby come out, he f- HUH?! Now, we bringing it back to the basics. COD gameplay in the backs, my voice only. Kinda. Okay, so this story is about how I told my school's principal what the term BBC meant. Now, obviously, I ain't talking about the news station. I'm talking about big black c <laughs> Anyway, this story needs a little bit of background to begin. There was this one annoying ass kid that we'll call Tabby. Now, Tabby was that one weird kid everyone had in their class. You know, the type of kid to eat glue. The type to definitely become a brony when he grows up. Bro would insult people's moms, throw pencils at people for no reason, and possibly become some type of offender in the future, if you get what I'm saying. The school really wouldn't do anything about it, possibly because he may have had, like, ADHD or something, but that ain't my issue. Womp womp, motherfucker. One day while we were at lunch, Tappy, for whatever reason, decided to write DBC on a piece of paper. And it was pretty obvious what he meant by it. I don't know if bros thought it was funny or something. It really wasn't. Anyway, after lunch, while we were walking back to class, Tabby kept waving the paper around and laughing about it. Again, it really wasn't that funny. And somehow, the teacher didn't notice this retard. <coughs> uh, dumbass. But as he waved it, an idea came to mind. If I showed the teacher the paper and possibly snitched, he would get in trouble. And I wouldn't have to see his dumbass face for the rest of the day. Side note, this whole plan was really stupid. Like, what type of school would put you in ISS or even suspend you? Like, come on. So we finally made it back to the classroom. And it was time to enact my evil plan. Well, it really wasn't evil. I was really doing a service to the people. It was more like a heroic plan. While we were walking into class, of course, Tabby was still whipping the paper with BBC on it. For the final f***ing time, it wasn't that funny. I don't know, I guess that was uh, 2010's elementary humor. Uh, at least it ain't today's skip, skip, skibbity f***ing toilet. For the love of God! For the love of God! Anyway, we walked into class and at the right moment, I stole the paper. Pretty easily, too. There was a little bit of fight back from Tabby, but Tabby was like a pile of sticks for real. Also, Tabby didn't really have a reason to fight because, like, he didn't know what I was doing. And Tabby just uh, kind of oddly stared at me. Like, what are you doing? But of course... Our other classmates, of course, saw us in our little scuffle. One of the classmates that saw us reported to the teacher, that f***ing snitch. I mean, says me, this whole story basically is about me snitching? But, but, but that's besides the point. Now, you may ask, how did the teacher not see us? Well, she was walking behind us as we went into the classroom, so yeah. After the teacher found out about the situation, she instantly called down the principal. Without even trying to talk to me or Tabby and figure out what the hell was going on, guess she didn't get paid enough to deal with elementary drama. Now, to the part y'all been waiting for. The principal, which we'll call Missetti, came down to the classroom. The school was really small, the entire school was literally just one hallway with a bunch of rooms connecting to it. So Miss Seti had to walk like 20 feet. Once Miss Seti got a hold of the situation, she pulled me aside to ask me why I violently attacked this guy for some stupid piece of paper. Obviously me being a master manipulator, I said, I grabbed the piece of paper 
because it had something inappropriate on it. And me being a goody two-shoes, plus a B.A. honorable student, thought I should tell the teacher for the good of society. Miss Seti somehow believed this absolute nonsense and decided to look at the paper. But then something happened that I didn't account for my plan. Something so horrendous, something so absolutely dreadful and horrible. The next words to come out of her mouth were, What does BBC mean? Right here is where my heart dropped, and I shat my pants. So many questions were running through my head at this point. Why would a 11 year old know what BBC meant? I've never cursed in front of an adult before. Am I going to get in trouble? This is a Christian school. Are they gonna mind me knowing this stuff? Am I going to be suspended, expelled, exiled for this? After like 30 seconds of silence, what felt like hours, Miss Seti was like, well? So I finally mustered up the courage to say, oh well, BBC means something like bad and inappropriate. Okay, so what does it mean though? Oh, well, it has a word in it that's bad, and I, I can't say. It's fun, you can say it, whatever the word is. Um, okay, so BBC means, like, big black. Then I tried to use my hands to, like, gesture it out, but of course she didn't get it. It, it means b b b b b b big black. Black, black, kaka. It it means big black, black, Well, it means big. It means big black cock. She stared at me into my soul. Then she was like, oh, okay, and walked into the classroom, probably to go deal with Tabby. I don't know, I was still in the hallway, but I let out a big sigh of relief. I felt like I was going to have a heart attack, but everything was good, and it didn't seem like I was going to be in trouble. I truly saved the day by being an amazing member of society and reporting the blasphemous crime of writing Big black cock. <laughs> Tabby got in trouble, so surprisingly, my plan kind of worked. He got taken out of class for the day and suspended the next day. So, gold star for me. Also, something pretty funny to come from this was that Tabby was forced to have his aunt come in and watch over him and make sure he was doing his work and, you know, not writing naughty things. The aftermath really wasn't anything for me. After the brief talk with the principal, I, I didn't talk to any staff. So yes, I did not get in trouble. Too fucking easy. <sighs> I am a god. What about the relationship between me and Tabby? Now this is like the biggest curveball of the entire story. Bro actually ended up becoming pretty chill eventually. Still a dumbass at some points, but mostly good. Now, what is the moral of this story? Because all good stories have morals. Snitch on some bitches. You ain't gonna get stitches or end up in ditches. You gonna get some motherfucking riches. Maybe if you get beat down, you ain't here for me, and you can't sue me. Uh, subscribe and like if uh, you enjoy. The Bluetooth device is really too pale.